Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, today we are starting our lectures on uh, O-Level or and IGCSE physics. Uh, and we are using uh, physics books uh, written by Tom Duncan and Heather Kennett, uh, 2021 and published by Hodder's Education. And this is highly recommended book and we are uh, following this book. And from this book, uh, 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 this is chapter number, uh, uh, section number 1.1 and here we are dealing with uh, physical quantities and measurement techniques. Uh, on page 4, uh, there are some uh, test yourself exercises and from this exercise we have this uh, problem. One, how many millimeters are there in these measurements? So we have given some uh, measurements in centimeters and meters and we have to convert it into a millimeters. We know that one centimeter is equal to uh, 10 uh, millimeters. So this one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. So this four centimeters is equal to 40 millimeters and 0.5 centimeters, 5 millimeters. Similarly, 6.7 is 67 and one meter is equal to 1000 millimeters. So this is simple. Uh, what are the length of these meters? We have given uh, some centimeters and millimeters. We have to convert it into a meter. So we have to divide it by 100. So 100 centimeters equal to 1 meter. So 3 centimeters equal to 3 meter. 550 centimeters equal to 5.5 meters. 870 centimeters means 8.7 meters. 43 centimeters means 0.43 meters. 100 millimeters means 0.1 meter. So we have to divide this by 1000 to make it meters. Similarly, we have given the power of tens. Uh, so we have to write it in the terms of power. When we shift uh, from, uh, uh, when we have given some numbers and uh, no decimal point is given, means the end of the number is the decimal point, lies on the end, at the end of the number. So here this decimal is like this here 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 similarly so so for the first number we have to transfer it to the uh, one two three four five and we have to shift it to the left side so on shifting left side we get the power in positive terms so so from here the decimal is here one two three four five so we have to shift it to the five position to the left side so five position to the left side means tens to power five one point zero into tens to power five similarly for this three positions that's by three point five into tens to power three here we have six and seven eight positions so this is four point eight into tens to power eight here two positions 5.04 tens power 2, we have 4 positions, so 2.7056 tens power 4 and for this, so we have to shift, so this is 10 power 3, means 10 uh, multiplied 3 times, so this is 1000, 2 into tens power 6 means 6 zeros, we have 4 zeros means this 2 have to be shared with this one, so 2 remains, so this is from here to here, this is 4, four digits. 6.0 yeah. so this is that's why this is to power 4 so for 134 so this is shift to here so that this this shift here so this will wipe out so this 1.34 from this tens power 9 so we have 10 nine zeros for this 1 over 10 3 this is 10 power 3 so this is 10 to power minus 3 in the numerator so this is 10 to power minus 5 so 7 to the power minus 5 in the numerator. So this is 10 to the power minus 7 because 10 to the power 7 in the denominator, 10 to the power minus 7 in the numerator. So 3 by 6, 3 by 6 and 10 to the power minus 4, so 0 0.5. This is 0 0.5 in 10 to the power minus 4. We have to shift it on the on the right side. So this becomes 10 to the power minus 5. One more negative will appear. So this is 0 0.5 and we have to make it uh, power with 10. So this shift to the right. When we shift to the right, we will get minus sign. So on shifting left on the side, left side, we are getting power in terms of positive numbers. So shifting to the right will 
comes in the power of minus. So one digit passing this fraction, so this is minus one. Here two digits, 8.4 means tens to the power minus two. Here four digit at this place, 3.6. So this is one, two, three, four tens to the power minus four. Here we have uh, at this point, so one, two, three. 3, 1.0 power minus 3. Now put this uh, into practice, uh, page 4, uh, calculate the area of triangle, base is given and the height is given. So this base and height and you multiply this the area of the triangle is given as 1 over 2 base into height. So base is 8 and height is 12 centimeters. So we get this 48 centimeters square because this is centimeter, this is centimeter. This length is one dimensional and the product will be a two dimension so the area is two dimensional so its unit is in terms of centimeters square so both is given in centimeters so it is centimeters square the calculate the circumference of the circle of a radius 6 centimeters circumference formula is 2 pi r so in placing this radius here so this is 12 pi centimeters similarly for this volume of a rectangular box one two and three dimensions are given and this is so simply multiply each other so this is 30 centimeters 35 centimeters 15 centimeters and we have to get the uh, volume in cubic meters so this centimeter has to be converted into a meters so divide this 30 by 100 25 by 100 and 15 by 100 so we have this divide by 100 this converts to meters meters and similar meters so this becomes meter cube and here in the denominator we have tens to power minus tens to power six which comes appears in the numerator as a tens to power minus six so this is this fraction is here we can shift it to here or here so this becomes 11.25 into tens to power minus three or 11, 1.125 into tens to power minus two meter cube now calculate the volume of a cylinder of a radius this and height is given this both are if this is millimeter this is centimeters so this millimeters to convert it into meters so this thousand divided by thousand means 10 to the power minus 3 so this is divided by 100 so this is 0.25 so pi r square h in place of this we will put this value square this is 0.25 so both is given in meters so this is meter square and this is meter so meter cube so on multiplying we get this 625 pi into this minus 6 or 6.25 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter so now we have a book uh, pages of a book are given uh, are numbered 1 to 200 and each leaf is uh, 0 0.10 meter millimeter thick if each cover uh, front and back thickness is given 0 0.20 millimeters what is the thickness of the book so the number of pages are 200 uh, one leaf contains two pages uh, one on the front side and back side so each leaf thickness is 0 0.10 millimeter thickness so each cover is 0 0.20 millimeter thickness the thickness of the book has to find so the number of pages are 1 to 200 so there are 100 leaves the thickness of each of uh, each page is 0.1 mm so 100 leaves thickness would be uh, 10 mm so this point m 0.1 mm multiplied by 100 this is 100 mm there are two cover pages front and back so the thickness of the covers is 0 0.20 millimeter into 2 this is 0 0.40 so we add the number of pages uh, leaves and thickness of the covers so we add this so the result is the thickness of the book is 10 mm plus 0 0.40 mm 10.4 mm now how many significant figures are there in a length measurement of this so the here we have 2.5 with two significant 5.32 means three significant figures uh, 7.180 this zero is uh, insignificant so 7.18 is three significant figures here we have this fraction may be shifted here 4.2 this fraction may be written here and then 10 to the power minus form so this is 
this, uh, two digits are significant. Even this 0 is also significant, but uh, we can write down in 4.2 into 10 to power uh, minus 2. So, a rectangular block measures this uh, uh, 4.1 centimeter by this centimeter by this centimeter. Three dimensions are given. Calculate volume of the uh, volume given your answer to an approximate value of the significant figures. So, this is 4.1, 2.8, and 2.1. So, multiply each other to get this. Since this centimeter, 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 so this is centimeter cube, and so multiplying this number, so we have this 24.108, so this is 24.11 centimeter cube. What about timer would you use to measure the period of a simple pendulum? How many oscillations would you time? Uh, stopwatch may be used to calculate this uh, time period, but uh, it's uh, it's suitable to uh, take at least uh, 10 oscillations so the every human has uh, some reaction time and uh, that may that may introduce some errors so uh, with the large number of oscillations uh, this uh, uh, approximations or this uh, reaction may be average out to get some better results so this 10 oscillation is better even 20 oscillations are even more better so, now put this into practice. So, this is simple uh, mathematics. So, this becomes 10, uh, 5 square, and 7 square. So, the resultant would be this. Uh, take 30 degree angles. So, 30 degree angles simply place sine 30 and cos 30, sine 30, cos 30, uh, sine 45, cos 40. This is 1, and this is 10, 60 is equal to uh, under root 3. Calculate the result of two forces, 5 Newton and 7 Newton, which are right angle to each other. So, this is right angle, 7 Newton and 3 Newtons. So, we can solve this by simple ruler than a protector. Uh, this uh, may be taken as a scale. So, 5 Newton uh, may be taken as a 5 centimeter and 7 Newton as a 7 centimeter. So, 1 Newton is equal to 1 centimeter. So, this is 7, 5 centimeter, 7 centimeter. And we draw, we take this 7 centimeter here on this. 5 centimeter and this then this line may be added uh, draw a line from here to here and this is the resultant value and this is resultant force uh, will appear in terms of centimeters which will be converted by the scale to get this result so we will eventually get the same results uh, here we are using the Pythagoras theorems to obtain this FR resultant force which is equivalent to 8.6 so, if you take this as uh, a 5 centimeter and 7 centimeter, this resultant would appear as a 8.6 centimeters. And this angle can may be obtained by the protector, uh, but here we are using a trigonometric quantity. This is another way, this is a tangent theta, and this is perpendicular upon base. So, 7 upon 5 is this. This 7 may be appear here. Uh, a girl walks 600 meters north and then 800 meters east. What is the displacement from her starting point? Suppose this is the starting point. She, she walks in the north direction with 600 meters and then 800 meters and eventually we draw this line. So, this 600 centimeter means 1 meter may be considered as a 1 centimeter on the ruler or one, uh, 100 meters is equal to uh, 1 centimeter. So, see, this is 6 centimeter, this is 8 centimeter and this eventually appears in the form of uh, 10 centimeter. It should appear as a 10 centimeter which is equivalent to, so multiplied by the scaling factor and eventually 100, uh, 1000 meters would appear. So, uh, here we have solved it by the Pythagoras theorem. This is 600 square and this is 800 square. So, this is uh, 3600 plus 64. The, so do we, whatever we have and then then then, then we take out uh, by adding these values and we have this value and then we take out the square root and obtain uh, 1000 meters and the direction this is north and this is east so this the resultant has uh, uh, on the northeast uh, in the next video we will uh, cover this exam style questions